How's up, Mayor's Office? Welcome back to the channel. I am Mayor Reynolds, and today we're going to be talking about Streamlabs integrating TikTok. And this is a feature that I think it's brand new. It was just announced about a week ago. I haven't heard very many people talk about it yet. But if you don't know, the TikTok app, you can actually live stream from it. If you use TikTok, you probably follow a few people who do live stream on it. Maybe they do like live Q and A's or what you can do, you can do streams on it. It just, it's going to be in that nine by 16 format, which is going to come into play later in the Streamlabs app. So I'm going to show you how to live stream on TikTok using Streamlabs. And the thing is, this is going to open up some options for people who are streaming on TikTok. So TikTok, uh, to stream from it using the app, you need to have over a thousand followers. Obviously you're going to be that uh, nine by 16 ratio. And uh, you know the live stream features not utilized a ton, and it's somewhat limited. So using Streamlabs, you can pull things like alerts, like uh, the tipping feature from Streamlabs, and so on. So if you are a creator who has a big following on TikTok, and maybe you want to open up some new uh, some new options and you live stream as well, you can use Streamlabs uh, to do that. Before we get into it, to my knowledge, you cannot multi-stream through Streamlabs Prime onto TikTok, to my knowledge, but I'm gonna show you my screen. You're not gonna be able to see my camera because obviously I'm recording with my camera on OBS. I, can't, I don't have two camera sources. So you're, you're, gonna, you're not gonna see me uh, in my Streamlabs view, at least, while we're looking at Streamlabs, but you will see me through OBS in the video, if that makes any sense. Anyway, let's get into it. I'm gonna log into Streamlabs, show you how to get into the TikTok feature, all that stuff. Here we go. Okay, so here is my standard um, Streamlabs. This is my, my current Streamlabs setup. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do, uh, you, so, so you notice if, you, if I try to go live, uh, and I do have uh, Streamlabs Prime, I do add destination. Uh, I don't, um, you know, there's not a TikTok window here. I can't just easily, to my knowledge yet at least, uh, multi-stream to TikTok or something like that. And that makes sense because TikTok is gonna is at a totally different ratio. It's nine by 16, not 16 by nine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna log out. I'm gonna show you guys how to log into Streamlabs uh, on your TikTok account. So if you're somebody like me, uh, I don't even know what my TikTok login information is. It's just stored in my phone. So there's a cool way to log in without your password because I don't even know my password. So anyway, select a platform. Here you go. You got Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, DLive, Nemo, I don't even know what Nemo is. Maybe I should check that out. There's TikTok, okay? Select TikTok. Go, oh, here we go. Here's this really thing. You can log in with a bunch of these uh, other methods. But I'm gonna do this use QR code, which is pretty cool. So if you open your own TikTok account, um, and then if you go to the Discover, oh, it's playing a video of Christian Bale with 80s music. I'll go to the Discover tab, the little search feature at the bottom. And then at the top, you see this little dash, this little like square, it's like a QR code looking thing. Hit that. And then it says, it gives you a QR scanner. You hit, here we go. Here's the QR thing. I scan it. Now it's gonna log me in. Streamlabs is gonna log me in. It's gonna ask for a confirmation right here. To log me in through the desktop, which is a pretty cool feature. So now, authorize Streamlabs. Obviously, you want to, yes. And we are going to be logged into my TikTok account um, via Streamlabs. Now, here's the thing uh, as you can see here, uh, it is 9 by 16. This is my, I'm gonna, maybe I should hide this for a minute. Uh, here we go. This is your view. This is your nine by 16 view. Very different than your traditional, it would be, you know, totally different ratio normally when you're streaming. So you're gonna have to rethink here uh, how you want to display your stream. So what I did, this is what I quickly screwed around with. You can't see my camera up here because I'm live on the OBS camera. I put a display capture here so people could see my screen. If I wanna go to websites, like while I'm showing people things on a stream, my camera would be up here but you, you can mess with this stuff, but look at the size here. And I don't, I don't know, can you actually rotate this any, anyway? Uh, you could, so you could do something like this. If you wanted to show like your normal, uh, like ratio gameplay and then people could watch it, 
uh, you know, they could flip their phone horizontally. You could do that, display capture. Uh, and then where is my... Uh, I, I can't even see it right now. So I gotta unlock this first. Where is my camera? How do I put this on top? I can't remember. I'm having a Streamlabs fail right now. But you could do something like pure uh, gameplay, pure display capture right here and stream it to people. If they come across your stream, they could see just pure Apex Legends gameplay, for example, and watch Apex Legends gameplay in a normal stream ratio if they just turned their phone horizontally, if I'm understanding that correctly. Um, <clears throat> so from here, uh, you could set up alerts just like uh, any other stream. You could go to, uh, you can add an image, you can add an alert box right here uh, and put this, you know, wherever you want on your screen. I'm just going to leave default settings, blah, 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 blah. And now on your TikTok stream, you have alerts. So people who follow you, whatever, um, it's going to pop up just, just like normal. Uh, all that stuff is here. There's really, it's nothing too crazy, guys. I am going to hit go live. Uh, stream to TikTok. Uh, here we go. I'm going to remove this uh, widget real quick. Oh, that's the wrong button. I'll just hide it. Um, so let's let's see what else is in this. So here, here we go. We got some more info from, uh, after you log in, press go live. The pop-up screen will prompt you to access your stream key and server. URL. Here we go. Locate my stream key. Uh, you'll be able to update a title. Go live on TikTok. TikTok server URL. I don't even know where that is. Well, here we go with the QR code again. I'm gonna do this again. Login success. Live currently unavailable. That's cool. Uh, maybe maybe you can't do it with less than a thousand followers. Maybe you still have to have over a thousand followers. Your profile or settings, maybe. By the way, I got a uh, hate mail here on a on a TikTok last night. I got eleven thousand follows or eleven thousand views over the new uh, Venom account control privacy discoverability. Yeah, maybe you still can't do it. Maybe you have to have over a uh, thousand followers still. So that's a, a misinformation on my part. Sorry about that. Um, so I thought that would be a really nice, a really nice um, perk. But apparently that is not the case. You still need over a thousand followers to do this. So it's not going to give you access to TikTok uh, live streams if you have uh, less than a thousand followers like I thought it would. I thought that'd be a nice perk of using Streamlabs to stream on TikTok, but that is not the case. But this is how you do it. This is how you set it up. A, a couple tips. Just remember, you're going to have to use 9 by 16. Uh, so you're going to have to rethink your layout. Um, I, I can't think of anything in particular uh, other than, uh, you know, the, the tipping and, and alerts and so on. Then I would just do it like a normal. If I was going to do a TikTok stream personally, I probably would just use my phone. Maybe why this feature hasn't got a lot of attention yet. But nonetheless, it is there. This is how you use it. And if you guys have ideas for uh, how to, to, do, to use this, how to use this in an interesting way, please let me know in the comments. Uh, and here you go. You can do live video settings. This is part of the Streamlabs blog. If you Google it, you can set a cover image and uh, a title. And uh, that, that's pretty much the whole process. You just have to go live from there. So that's it, guys. That's it for this video. This one's been sponsored by Epic Game Store. Code Mare, don't forget, that's my code. If you play Fortnite, if you buy anything on the Epic Game Store, please use create a, or what is it? Support a creator. Code Mare. It'll support my channel and our content. I really appreciate it. We'll see you in the next video. Make sure you subscribe if you want more content creation videos like this and stuff about G Fuel, blockchain, all that right here on in the mayor's office. See you in the next video, guys. This goes on. Oh, he's in the fucking house! Yeah. Down to Tard, under fire. Good shot at this. Reloading. Nice. Bandit down. Blow us. I can't. Oh my god!
I'm the best.